All right. I must shoot a little video. We'll see how this comes out. It's probably going to be terrible. Lighting's probably bad. Audio's probably terrible. Plus, you got me talking, which is never a good thing. So, uh, what this is, is me showing off my Chrome OS computer. There's a Samsung Chrome box. Uh, that's the i5 that was given out at the developers conference. I didn't attend. I bought that online later, uh, actually this year, and it's about three years old now. Uh, I've upgraded the RAM to 16 gigs of RAM. I also upgraded the SD card, um, SD to 64 gigs. A little trial and error to make that happen, but I managed it. And, uh, and so you can see here's a little Chrome OS in action. Get this keyboard strokes right. Let's see if I can do this. No, not giving me any love here. There it is. So uh, you might notice a little lag as I'm using it. That is because I am doing a lot of stuff on my box. Uh, I have, let's see if that'll focus on there, 187 tabs open currently. So, yeah, yeah, I'm a busy bee when it comes to tabs. So, however, Chrome OS is rather limited. doesn't do a lot for us. Some people out there say, I can never use Chrome OS because I do other stuff. Well, I didn't completely give up on my uh, other stuff. Here I have Chrome Remote Desktop running. And uh, let's see here. Log into my Ubuntu machine now. Yes, that's Ubuntu. Uh, this out of the way. And uh, okay, so it's in a little window, right? If I resize, it shrinks. It gets bigger. But what you'll see is if I go here, go full screen, this looks exactly the way it looked. Uh, when I had the machine plugged directly into my computer. Uh, the screen size is all the same. Now with Ubuntu, I've had to manually adjust some stuff to make it all work. Um, but with Windows, uh, it's all pretty much a plug and play. You just download Chrome Remote Desktop uh, server onto your box. Uh, the difference is, is, as you can see, this monitor is off. That actually is running on my uh, directly off my my rig, which is that monster down there, you really can't make out too much on. But uh, yeah, trust me, it's down there. And um, and so anyhow, um, I have it running in a headless mode where uh, it doesn't take over the the main you know user space. Uh, in fact, if I plug in my keyboard into it. Uh, I can run and have this instance up while running a different instance here. With Windows, you can do it as well. you got to run concurrent sessions. If you know what you're doing, you can make that happen. It's not too terribly difficult. Uh, anyways, so you can see i got some stuff going on here. And, uh, and that's fine and dandy. Um, but let's give this a try. So here, the girlfriend has Chromebook here. And really the point I'm trying to make with this uh, is that uh, if we log out here, and I'll log into mine, and what I think we're going to see here, oh, sorry, I turned it off. We're going to wait all 10 seconds here. I'm going to make you guys go through the whole process. But what we'll see is that I can log into that same session. And in fact, I'll start a new session, I believe, when I log in. And uh... sorry, two things at once here, try to type and, you know, you know how that goes. So here we are, we've logged in.
so. This little box is a little bit slower than mine. So we're going to Chrome Remote Desktop. Again, I've got to load all these tabs that I always open up because I'm that kind of person. And you know, you can get a lot done with the Chromebook without even doing any of this, but it is limited. Um, I uh, occasionally do actually work directly from Chrome, and uh, and it does get me through a lot of the stuff I can do. Um, however, there are some things like running a VPN and then actual Windows remote desktop uh, to servers that I have no control over that I can't. I can't just run Chrome Remote Desktop on. Um, and in those cases, uh, I do have to actually get a different computer. So, jump into my box here. Okay. So this is a full on, this is how it looks when you're logging in from nowhere to somewhere. So you just put in your pin code, All right? Hit connect. Stop the people from talking to you. There it is. Okay, showing you guys all my keyboard strokes. And uh, so there's that same instance. So I guess I lied. Uh, the the Chrome remote instance is the same uh, in one case or the next uh, but it doesn't take over my actual desktop that I'm sitting in front of and once you go full screen with this and wait for that to go away and go away you can see this is a uh, it almost feels like you're actually on you know your machine directly um, I have a VM on here I could open up and uh, and demo for you guys and show also how a Windows instance would be. Uh, but I think so far I've already shown the point relatively well. This allows you to leave your Windows machine at home, you know, and uh, and then you just carry your eh, fine, do it. Then you just carry your uh, your Chromebook with you. And uh, you have a lot less fear. And all right, and here it is on my eight-inch tablet, just to show if I can unlock it. There we go. Just to show how this works. Also, let's so open up the Chrome desktop here. Avenue. Throw my little pin code in. And there it is. I can. Another password. Hold on. Uh huh. Yep. And here I am. Again, on the desktop. Same desktop. Once again. And, uh, Able to do the same thing. Here's a file. That's not what it is. So it's kind of neat. You got this button here. It goes full screen. And uh, of course, I could always take my slim port adapter here. Grab it. Plug that in. I'll make a whole other video about this. Plug that in. HDMI out. Can go to a monitor so on the road in a hotel well i guess i wouldn't have an hdi monitor at a hotel necessarily but i guess i could cast it onto a onto a screen um but yeah the point is is there's a there is my ubuntu machine on the tablet as well so chrome remote desktop chromebox chromebook windows ubuntu mac Chrome Remote Desktop is the stuff that makes it all work. 
and uh, I have a little bit more for you right after this. We'll end that there. Well, I can only have good enough alone, so just so you guys can see the rig. Uh, there it is. I'm not a computer case fan. I think it's kind of a waste. Uh, so there's my box. Water-cooled i5. Uh, hybrid SSD. And there's my graphics card, which was a pretty high-end one. This is an i5 quad-core. And uh, it used to be running on a completely silent uh, set of uh, Xbox um, power supplies. But I ended up switching over to this when I was having a little problem with the PSU. Anyways, uh, it's water cool. There's the rad. And uh, yeah, makes it real easy for me to get down and work on it when there's problems. No fidgeting with cases, no dust bunnies. You can see some stuff gets dusty, but it's not nearly as bad. And and for all those who say, oh, but what about the cooling? What about the 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 flow of air? Well, the neat thing about this is uh, there is not a direction of flow. All the ambient air just comes in here and goes out there. And it's not really a big deal. Uh, where in a box, when it's contained, it matters. It has to come in one place and go out the other. Otherwise, it just sits there and circulates inside the box. Here, not really a big deal. I've had this thing never, never climb terribly high in temp. Uh, definitely never shut down due to thermal problems. So, uh, 